So I want to take you back to 1980. And the reason for that is because in 1980, the release of a very famous, if not the most famous of all video games, sold 350,000 arcade games cabinets in 1980 racking up over two billion dollars in revenue tell me you want to hear what that game was i want to hear that game because i have an idea but i'm thinking it's one of two Strike you, your nostalgia. By the way, Chang's hairstyle has just arrived. Is this where I sit? Where do I sit? It's a new studio. It's beautiful. Oh, hi, Chusky. It's so good to see you. It made you look very distinguished, almost like a police officer. I wanted you to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first concert in the 80s that totally blew you away, that was life-changing? That would have to be... The Screaming for Vengeance tour with Judas Priest. The hits were so huge that even today, 2020, these movies are still being sought after by everybody. I think they're as relevant today as they were back then. But the relevancy has changed because we're uh, reliving it. Generations are seeing what we lived through. So uh, it brings wisdom, it brings humor, and it kind of... It kind of brings families together. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you sit down and watch an 80s classic movie with your kids. Listen for yourself, but this is in honor of you, Chang. I want you to tell me what year was this song written? Ooh, he's testing the old Chang this early on a Friday. Yeah, don't forget. Of course not. All right, here we go. Are you ready, Chang? I am board ready. I'm a battle god. Oh. We're going to be talking about some of your responses to that post that I left. The post read, if you could go back to the 80s, would you change something? I mean, even if it changes your now, would you have bought that car that you've always wanted? Would you have possibly bought that house that you regret never buying? Or do you regret maybe going out with a certain person that you wish you would have gone out with? How about the regret of not taking the risk in asking that person out that you always wanted to go out with? This is back to the 80s. I am Dr. Love Weapon. We are bringing you love hate letters today. Uh, I am. Uh, and I'm Dr. Keith Sweet, always here for your hate relief. And on that note, Dr. Sweet, oh, that sounds sweet. Uh, Our first letter is from Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine writes, Hello, doctors. I just want to share tonight my love letter with you. It all started in 1986 as I was introduced to the greatest love of my life. We were found together walking one day, a little bit past two in the morning, at the drive thru at Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> 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 And as a, uh, as a, uh, <laughs> the love of my life and I walked through the drive-thru because we didn't have a car back then. You're right. Like I said, it was two in the morning and uh, we ordered our chicken littles and uh, hung around the parking <laughs> lot there with only one light on in the whole parking lot by Super A Foods and Taco Bell in the corner that was closed at that time. And my honey just reached over and said, I love how the moon glistens on your forehead. If you've ever taken buses in the 80s, but you remember those plastic seats that if the bus driver slammed on the brakes, you'd slide? You finally get a seat and there was some sweaty guy or some kind of a liquid on the seat, my brother. Oh, Oh, yeah, there would be that patch. I want to know one thing. Why are bus drivers so angry and aggravated and snappy? Why isn't there any seatbelts? On that type of Disney ride (laughs) gone crazy by some angry individual, my brother. Yeah, and it's not like they don't make good money. They should be happier than that. 
You know what, bro? They should be actually giving us some type of a snack. On my behalf from Toscano, I just want to thank you guys for joining us and encourage you guys to keep joining us. Be safe. Wear your masks. Do what you got to do to keep your fellow man safe, your family united, and most of all, keep that 80s spirit alive because it's contagious. That's right. Take care. And God bless. See you next week, guys. Everybody, this is a Chang. Before I say sayonara, adios, and arrivederci, I want you to all remember we are one race, and that is the human race. Uh, We are all down here doing the same thing, so we got to play this game wisely. We have to have care, compassion, and respect. Remember, do not let anything going on in society bring you down, and if it does, you God darn guarantee that Toscano and Chang will be around to turn that frown upside down. So I want you all to release you to a great weekend. Remember, think positive. Don't let nothing get you down. The only brutality you are going to get from me and Toscano is sheer enjoyment. And we are going to be brutal with bringing a smile to your face. So uh, remember, get each other's back because we are all we have. Go home and hug your loved ones. Call your kids. Call your honey. Call your buddy time you love them because remember, next time, this same place, same time, we're going back to the 80s. So as I bid you an adieu, I say arrivederci, adios, sayonara, and orale to all the homies. See you next Friday.